What's up loves, it's your girl April. So today's video is going to be a glueless full lace wig. And you're gonna have to please excuse me if I sound a little scratchy and hoarse. This video is by Best Lace Wigs, or it's actually by me, but it is featuring one of their glueless full lace wigs. So this one right here, I did pick out. It's a 22 inch glueless full lace virgin Brazilian curly unit. And I'm going to show you how it looks prior. It's the GSW129. I will make sure to post a direct link down below so that you guys can check it out. So it is a glueless full lace wig, and it's actually so pretty. Like, do you guys see this? Like really pretty curls and everything um it does come with three combs adjustable strap in the nape area which i actually forgot to cut this lace away but it's no big deal and i went ahead and put a, an elastic band in it and it also has kind of like the ear tap on the side which kind of helped me um where i should sew the lace well not the lace with the elastic band so here's the thing with the elastic band i did purchase this from walmart because i did have some people ask me where i got it from i did get it from walmart you know you can get them in a pack um a couple yards to like a dollar 47. um i prefer the black ones you can get them wide as this wider or a little bit thinner but you want to make sure that they are like a really good durable stretch you don't want to get some too flimsy of a stretch but you want to get them to where it'll give a nice grasp this is what the hair looks straight out of the box of virgin brazilian hair and it is curly so this is the factory curl so i will show you in like um the day after what it looks like when it's not factory curls because i want you guys to see the difference so yes yeah. so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this wig on it's a full lace wig so you can part this anywhere you want there are no tracks on the outside it's actual scalp looking partage so you can place a comb and part it anywhere you want and get that realistic look and like i said it's glueless so you don't have to put any adhesive on your head just come in a box like this that just says best lace wigs on it nothing fancy and i hope you guys can see that i tried i tried to get fancy today with the background um they do send you a wig cap return and exchange form let's get on to this video how I customize my own hairline um, sometimes I don't want to tweeze it and for those of you who don't want to tweeze it or don't know how to tweeze it or are just kind of scared to tweeze it the only thing that I do is I rest it right behind my hair just a little bit behind my hairline and that's it what actually helps to lay the wig super duper flat is some elastic my suggestion would be to put an elastic um, band in it and that will allow the unit to be flush to your scalp there are loads of videos on youtube of how to measure for the elastic bands so um the curls are finger combed out and it is 22 inches so this is what it looks like it comes right here because it is curled it did shed a little bit um as i was finger combing it i'm not really sure if you guys can see that but it did shed a little it bit. It's topic, and I use this in every last wig video that I do. Um, sometimes I use strand maximizer, but I started off with topic. And what it does, it looks just like tiny little hair. It's 22 inches, and I'll just spritz it on where my hair is thin at. So like right here, where it's thin, I'll just take this, and I'll pump lightly because I don't want it too thick. And it'll gradually fill it in. 
Um, if you have bald spots, you can also use that. So you see how it filled it in. If you want it thicker, you can do that. Um, it comes in a variety of colors. They just look like tiny little hair fibers. And I actually like it a lot. It helps me a lot with any of my wigs. So I swear by it. So yes, as for the best lace uh, wigs, y'all, this wig turns out to be fully. And those who you don't okay, even like to share. That's the one sure thing you that I like stuff. about best lace wigs. Plus they got like a whole bunch of other stuff on their website. They sell weaving hair, frontals, um, closures. And as you guys seen, I did decide to do a flip over method with it. Because I'm going to let y'all see how it looks when it's washed and how the curls form afterwards. Okay? Okay, love, so day two. Now, I did tell you guys I was going to wash it and let you see how the curls look in their actual natural state. I co-washed it. I used the Garnier um, conditioner, and once I washed and rinsed the conditioner, I used the Cream of Nature Eden Leave-In Spray Conditioner. So this is how I actually hang my wigs up, especially if you want body to them. You don't want to hang it on the lace part, but just kind of like hanging in the back. I always wash my wigs on a mannequin head, and I do have a video showcasing how I wash and make a part, so I will post that for you girls. Yeah. So it looks totally, totally different, and it smells really good too. Um, it looks totally different. It still is very, very full, but it looks totally different. And excuse how I look. I look like crazy. And it looks much longer, so we're going to go ahead and situate this. And I'm So I'm going to be using the Red Can um, Fashion Waves. This is sea salt uh, spray, only for my hair in the front. Okay, dolls, so do you see the huge difference that washing your wigs, your hair, your bundle hair can make? Um, so I just wanted to kind of like show you guys that. Now, don't get me wrong, the actual factory curls that was in these in this wig when I first reviewed it was beautiful. Like, it was so pretty. It was very silky-like, and it was very full, um, but it was a little bit shorter. Now, you can still achieve that look but you would need to use a wand curl. What um, I think how Best Lace Wigs did it was when they was processing the hair to give it that curly look and that curly texture, they kind of used like a rod, a certain rod. So that is where those type of curls came from. But you can still achieve that same look on this unit by using like a wand curler. Of course, you will have to flat iron the wig first and then use your wand curl. But once you wash it, it gets longer and it gets like naturally full, which is amazing. Like I never would have imagined that this hair would turn out like this. Like this is to me, in my honest opinion, I think this is much prettier than the actual factory curls. You know what I'm saying? I did do a flip over because I just wanted something different. One, the hair is gorgeous. When I washed it last night, it shed just like a really, really tiny bit. It did not shed like that at all, which I was surprised by. Plus the density, the fullness of the hair. If you're spending $340, you need to get a wig that looks like this with a lot of hair. You know what I'm saying? With a lot of hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me know what you think. If you're looking for weaving hair, you can also check out bestlacewigs.com. They got some bomb hair. I have a wig that I made by them, um, which I love and I still wear it. It's just my kinky straight hair and I love it like absolutely love it it is like probably like almost a year old and it is amazing so yes so on that note ladies gents divas and divos all the information for this unit will be posted for you girls and guys below make sure you stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up if you enjoyed as well as share it with your friends family and people that you don't like and on that note I'll see you guys and girls real soon in a new video I love you